Now, if price always ebbed and flow in this uniform manner, uh, trading would be a whole lot simpler. We would just draw these channels with the top line and the bottom line, and we would trade from line to line, from support to resistance. I picked this area of the charts out because it was so clear to see, but this is not a very common occurrence. What we typically see is prices that look like this. So when you chart the price, it's very hard to figure out where the resistance area should be, where the support area should be, where should we draw the top of the channel, where should we draw the bottom of the channel. And markets are so dynamic, it's very hard to figure out where to put uh, the top of the range and the bottom of the range or how to measure that range properly as the market is unfolding before us in real time. That is what oscillators help with.